How you feel now that um <laughs> the Lakers is winning since you got fired? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch that stuff. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I had I had to do it since you went there, L. <laughs> and, and of course, we also got the the, the, the diva of the year, Miss WCC herself, the OG diva, the 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 fabulous mula of WWE slash WWF slash WCC. Yeah, Miss Heather Powell, winner of season number six, holding my title, by the way, but yeah, go ahead. Merry Christmas, everybody, what's up? As you can tell, she's been sipping on that tequila. Or a cojito. What's the name of the baby? <laughs> but other than that, guys, um, and Gail, uh, before we start, uh, the number to call always is 760-569-7676, access code 200-446-POUND. And just a reminder, WCC is not responsible for any of us four talking shit. So, with that, I say this. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> and you know it's true, because had to be sipping on some other stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Other than that, hey, everybody, so let's start it off. Uh, last night, uh, yeah, Santa almost died, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, shout-outs to Del Rio, shout-outs to Ricardo Rodriguez. You guys sold that. That shit was gold. Uh, oh, before we start, we just uh, got a fucking a little introduction. Mr. Brandon Dooling comes to you live and direct from St. St. Joseph, Missouri. How are you doing, Brandon? How's your Merry Christmas, by the way? Oh, very merry. Merry. Uh-oh. You don't sound too happy. What's up? We got an Xbox 360. There you go. That's my boy. He left the Wii. He left the Wii. And um, I'm going to see if within this week I can get WWE 13 because um, we got some games with it. We got Grand Theft Auto 4. We got um, Fight Night Champion and personal favorite of mine because I'm a huge fan of this series, Tekken 6. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then Not I'm going to um, yeah, try to get WWE 13. I'm going to try to get Modern Warfare. If not Modern Warfare 3, I'll get Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2 or whatever. And then I'll try to get uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. 
I'm loving that game so freaking bad. Not bad, not bad. Mm-hmm. Maurice, what you get for Christmas? Anything in particular? Uh, actually, I didn't. Yeah, actually, just got, just got some like, just got some money, pretty much. And uh, yeah, for what it's worth, yeah. And for what it's worth, I was like, yeah, I just got my own personalized mug, so that's kind of cool. So, uh-uh. yeah. Yep. So I'm like, now I got my, yeah, so now I got, like, my own coffee mug, got my own tea mug, so it's like, now, so now, like, when it roll around, I was like, I ain't got to worry about doing no, I ain't got to worry about doing no dishes or nothing, or, like, worrying which cup is mine, and it's like, <laughs> boom, I'll be set. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Michael Brown, what you get for Christmas? There's no mind bragging about it. Well, i I'd be honest with you, the only guy was a $25 gift card to um, Bob Evans. But the biggest gift was being with the family. Exactly. And, of course, and of course right. yesterday, Heather and I are now in a relationship again, so that was probably the biggest gift. Oh. So that makes you a two-time, two-time going out with a champion? Tell you. Oh, <laughs> Heather, what are you sipping on over there? I got you nice and, you know, nice and uh, in chilled mode. I am sipping on a big ass glass of wine, and it's going to be bigger after that little announcement Michael just made. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, L, this one, I thought she was sipping on some Hennessy and Coke, dear Brown. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, oh. I ain't got no Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> like we said before, and I'll say it again. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I love that one. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what? Michael Brown is absolutely right what he says. Christmas is not really about what you get as long as you guys kick it with your family. And just like my fat ass, hey, I'm not going to lie, I fucking stuffed. I'm fucking still stuffed. I couldn't even eat breakfast today. That's how stuffed I was. I had some <laughs> turkey. I had, of course, oh. about a dozen tamales, Ooh, yeah. which were made by my mom and dad. And, yeah, they got down with their cooking, especially in a Hispanic oh, yeah. family like ours. Oh, tch. I mean, I eat way too much food, man. Oh, if I, I will be happy if I never see another duck, ham, <laughs> oh. cheesecake, ever. I am, like, Damn. still full. Oh, did Hell somebody yeah. say cheesecake? Because the lemon cheesecake that we oh. had was awesome. Oh, oh my God. I had, yeah. I had a double, double cherry cheesecake. It was, like, Ooh. two layers. It was, oh, my God. So freaking yeah. good. <laughs> there was one more popping them cherries out. Oh, it had a lot of cherries. It was really good. I'm hoping there's not a playback later in this show because. Um... <laughs> what talking about cherries? Yeah, popping oh, cherries. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, cause I, I was say pop- you like popping them not, cherries, I, huh? No, I didn't say popping them cherries. Oh, yeah. man, screw you guys, I'm going home. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh, um, yeah, I will say this, though, y'all. On a, the go off, go off topic for a minute, I know something I will need is a new set of eyes right now because um, if anybody watched any of the, today's NBA games, yo, my eyes are, yo, and my brother Alan Joseph brought it up. In the- <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah, our, our fellow brother in the WCC, Alan Joseph, was dead on with this one. Them uniforms was an eye so. Oh, they have mercy. I was like, was it the what is y'all wearing? Looks like those uniforms ran over your sanity, huh? Uh, wow. All right. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what he, true story, like, and he was dead on with this. With the Bulls and the Rockets game today, it looked like, it looked like um, Ohio State was, was running practice or something. 
practice? Oh, yeah, we talk about practice. Was it was like the uniforms that uh, Virginia Tech and uh, Boise State had a while back, or is it was called the hazmat spell? Uh, yeah, y'all lost me. I'm just sitting back listening to y'all talk about sports. <laughs> yeah, and then on the side, you no, know, um, yeah, and I'm actually, as sadly, I'm watching this um, Nuggets Clippers game right now. Uh, did the Nuggets have, take some like leftover material for John Cena's current T-shirts right now? Oh shit! Oh wow! Well. No, I am not lying. <laughs> They're, I thought it was the other no, way around. They, I mean, they almost the exact same okay. colors, dude. Wait, you can't I'll possibly like, tell me that it was NBA taken from Cena. I thought it was the other way around. I mean, let's see. Orange and blue for the Broncos. Red and blue for almost, uh, quite a few sports teams. Purple and yellow for the Lakers. You could go on and on. No, my dude, I'm serious. If you, if you turn on the ESPN right right now and watch this damn Clippers game, I swear, I swear, look at the Nuggets uniforms. They are the exact same color as Cena's current shirt right now. I am not what lying. What color? Is, dude, he's like a freaking Crayola ball. It's like the it's like the it's like it's like the same thing, like the midnight like navy bluish or something right now. That's funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now joined by Mr. Paul Martin. Paul Martin, Merry Christmas. How is it going out there? Uh, it's going good. I just uh, woke up after a closing. Rocking around Christmas tree. Hey, Paul, Hi. what's up? No, uh, I just woke up after dozing off after Doctor Who, uh, the snowman. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a porno. It's British and BBC America. And I'd Uh-oh. rather watch the TV right now other than American TV. It bloody sucks. <laughs> oh, you're my brother and everything? Are you sipping tonight on anything? Huh? Are you, are you sipping on anything tonight? I don't know. Uh-oh. Am I the Uh-oh. only Uh-oh. one that am, am I the only one that's drunk in this conference? Uh, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on, I was hold drinking on. a little bit, Heather, but then I'm actually not considered drunk yet. But oh, I am. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, <laughs> hold on. I, can, L, L, I got you covered on this one. I know a Paul on. Uh-oh. Paul on that. Gin and juice. Leave oh. me on my mind, on my money, on my money, on my mind. Money on my mind. Hell yeah, I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> I met oh, I that I don't know. So, I mean, talking about getting drunk, I mean, that certainly puts the pow in Powell. Say that. Oh. <laughs> hey, Oh, come Damn. on. Hey. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, so last night uh, Santa Claus got hit, and uh, let's see what the WWE superstars thought about that. Wait, 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 wait. What's the word, My kids, man. Guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. What's wrong, Santa's down. Oh, oh no. Come on, man. <laughs> and he don't look good right now. But, guys, we we got to pull together. We got to get the, the show must go on tonight, all right? Right. Santa, he would want it that way. Yeah, all right, all right. All right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what are you doing, man? Hey, it's <laughs> days of Christmas Eve and you ran over Santa. Hey, hey, hey. It was just an accident. I didn't know Anybody Santa was going to be there, okay? But everybody knows where I drive my cars, so technically, it was not my fault. What? <laughs> St. Nicholas is a saint. Before Santa lost consciousness, his last words were, Alberto Del Rio is going to be in a fight tonight. A miracle on 34th Street Fight. Yeah. 
<laughs> Versus John Cena. <laughs> She oh, oh, that was funny. Do it for Santa. Do it for Santa, man. Do it for Santa. Do it for Santa. Do it for Santa. 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 Anybody else WWE medical personnel continue to work on Santa. There is no official word as to Santa's injuries, but as soon as we get information, we'll be sure to let you know. Now back to ringside with Cole and King. Hold on. You know it's the only thing okay, that was not a lot oh. to report at this hour. WWE medical personnel still tending to Santa. We do know that Alberto Del Rio's car did in fact do some damage, but as we learn more, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Right now, back to ringside. Obvious Our medical staff has just informed me that Santa has taken a turn for the worse. Mr. Claus oh, is being prepped to be taken to a medical facility to be the injuries suffered at... Oh wow, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, WWE is pulling out the tricks out of the bag. Maurice, I think they've been hearing this bitch too much. Could it be that <laughs> WWE is actually going into a new era? And it might not be the Attitude Era, but it's like a new yeah. era is about to merge. I, I hope so. But first of all, um, yeah, first of all, I just want to say last night's Raw seemed like something out of a Keenan and Kale episode. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Why? Oh, that was that was just straight coonery, though. Why? Hey, that, that by was the way, funny man. Oh my uh, god! You know, it's the only thing that was missing. Where was Rob Simmons with a damn when we needed one? Yeah, we needed. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, we needed that. You're right about that. You hear it? Hear a damn. That was funny. Yeah. I watched that show. Yeah, he showed up. And I laughed so hard. More than one damn. He could have showed up with a Santa hat and said, "Damn." <laughs> right? That was just funny. Well, no, 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 no. Maybe like when Santa, like, like maybe when Santa got up and he got up from the and he got up from the medical personnel. That's what he should have said when he got up. Man, last night, last night's Raw was pretty fucking awesome. I'll say that. And Maurice, you're my witness on this. You know, sometimes on here, on either on the conference, or either on the Uncensored show, my bad, or Breakdown, or even any other show, including Overload. There's times that you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I I, I don't like Cena whatsoever. But last night, for the first time ever in a long time. I was cheering for Cena. What the hell was I drinking? <laughs> what were you drinking? I don't know. Yeah, uh, from the sounds of it, it must have been tequila mixed orange juice. I don't know. Going against Dang, my boy man. Del Rio? Going against my boy Del Rio? Now, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of like looking at Del Rio like, fucker, you almost killed Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think that was, yeah, I think this may have been the first time in a long time that there was a unanimous Cena chant uh, go. Right. I know, like a Pittsburgh, they notoriously hate him up there. Oh, man, I actually had a beer in my hand and said, hey, see that's the last match of the night? Man, screw it, dude. This is a snooze fest. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I didn't watch it, but I YouTube well, it. It was funny. Well, the thing is that I was only watching it for about an hour and 20 because I was still uh, uh, entertaining my uh, cousin after giving him gifts. And he was hyper when I was young, and now I'm like, man, fuck. <laughs> he fucking wore me out. Thank you for being a friend. He wore me oh. out, too. Travel down the road. I'll be watching that. That's bad.
Dude. Yo, no, I'm gonna go home later on. on Travel when I get home away from this hotel. What's wrong with that? Oh, where are you sticking at right now? Huh? Dude, Golden Girls. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you are for drunk, honey. Wake the fuck up. I am woke up. <laughs> <laughs> The, you scared? They're doing them shots? Yeah. But, no, but seriously, hey, hey, last night, fucking Raw was pretty awesome. A lot of people were actually bitching about that. It was kind of stale. What do, you, what, what do you guys actually think about Raw last night? Uh, Raw was okay. Uh, I just wish I would call Sick or kissing AJ. Oh. I was like, oh, my God, I wish I would be <laughs> on the so tall. I YouTubed it all. I thought it, I thought it was all right. The the funniest thing was Santa getting hit and the look on Del Rio's face. Man, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny as hell. Yeah, Del Rio. He did a good job. Dude, Ricardo looked like he was going to cry. It was yeah, he funny. Was, he, well, Carter was crying. I was like, like, oh, he was dude, like, oh, like, God, dude, like, what? Hey, Dios like, mio. Dude, you're going to get something much worse than Cole this year, man. I can't believe you ran him over. Yeah. Now WWE's got you to know that he is a heel. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. But that's the only guy. thing that I did hear about last night. That was the only thing I was hearing about. Is the fact that Del Rio is back as a fucking full-time heel. It's He's not going to work out. Guy. I agree with that. It's not gonna work. I, I I don't know why. I mean, there's people that said he played a a face in Mexico. Um, guys, do your research. He actually was a heel. He wasn't a face. He was more of a people's champion. You know what I'm saying? I guess you would yeah. call him a, a tweener. I guess you would call him. Is that any more the mask then? Well, I would. I but then again, you look at WWE's reasoning. It's because oh well, Finn Cara is not moving at the pace we want him to, and Rey Mysterio <sighs> has two wellness strikes. But let's turn to Del Rio as the top Mexican face. Apparently that's the reasoning, but just because he may he could do it doesn't mean he should. Very good as a heel. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's nothing about his character that really translates to him being a face, or at least should. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I he's, mean, a ri- he's a rich, pompous Mexican dude who, in some cases, is a Mexican version of JBL. Not yep. exactly. Is hey, now that's insulting right there, my friend. That is very so, insulting right what there. What I meant by that was he has a lot of money, or, you know, at least character wise, he has a lot of money. Like, y'all Names of dollars. And he's going to go Actually, y'all know what? See, that's because y'all always look at the van. Yeah, he always comes out in his limo. You think about it. Even the you know what? on the cars. I like seeing the new side of Del Rio too, though. It shows that he's got a personality and he can do funny stuff. So. Yeah. Although it's more well, Ricardo, I don't that, even know what it's the more hell Ricardo that brings the humor, though. Hell no. Well, see, hell the thing, the thing of it is, like, he didn't really go face. He was just protecting his friend, yeah. you know. Actually, he was protecting the, Ricardo. I Actually, the whole deal about that was the fact that uh, 3MB said, now, 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 see, you guys got to pay attention to this one. 3MB called out the Spanish announce team and said, you guys are a bunch of Mexicans that don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. yeah. But this is where it got a little more controversial. Hugo and Carlos are not Mexican. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because, yeah, yeah. wait a minute, ain't Hugo part Jewish? And, yes, he's part Jewish, and the other guy is Colombian. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about uh, that shit. But he's no Spanish, though, but I give him that much. <laughs> <laughs> but the actual, there's another, another true fact, by the way, but the actual Spanish announce team that does uh, for Raw is not even the same guys that sit down on the, on the, on the table, though. That's a trippy part. Well... Hmm. There's it's a whole new team that does it inside a studio while Raw is playing live. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? That is funny because like sometimes like I'll get like I'll get like Raw on one of the Spanish channels, and I was like, they I could definitely tell for a fact that was neither Carlos or Hugo because like sometimes I would hear them during even the pay per views, and it's like, wait a minute, they got somebody 
Yeah, they got to be recording this like in a studio somewhere because, yeah, that is. Yeah, because then like yeah. when they like showed it previously, I'm like, yeah, that ain't even Carlos or Hugo. That's some new dudes up in there. By the way, oh. that's another that's another thing too. I'm surprised WWE doesn't do. See, in Mexico, when they air Raw in Mexico, before the three hours started over here in the U.S. They were already doing three hours in Mexico. And the cool thing about it is they would kind of tease you about it. They would give you more, you know, behind-the-scenes stories about how things are going down, how the storyline is breaking up, and how the storyline is kind of going through. And that was fucking awesome to me because it gets you pumped up to watch. Huh. My, own, my, my own family members weren't really into wrestling. Um, I mean, they're more into soccer. But, you know, they were, you know, yeah. they were watching. I'm like, oh, wow, this is cool. Oh wow! You know, I mean, this is going on. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is what always happens. But the thing that that made it so awesome was the fact that you know they have people telling you if in, in case you missed the last week, they'll give you those those extra minutes of of the show to explain to you what you missed last week, and that's pretty awesome. I, I find that pretty huh. awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yes, it is. Yeah. Man. Yes. Yeah, I never knew that. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know that. Oh. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I do want to go off a little bit more on the Del Rio thing. I actually see a way you can actually work this. <laughs> because Uh-oh. believe it or not, nah, because tell you the truth, you can actually work Del Rio both ways. On the face side of things, and that's the fact you could even use the Santa incident right now to, like, build off of it. Because, all right, what would be something Del Rio could do that could, oh, uh, you could be like, all right, he had a little conscience issue, and it was like, all right, he's getting heat for, like, killing Santa. So then he yeah. decides to, like, then he decides character-wise to, like, oh, I want to give my money. But then once it, once it pays off a little bit and you start making him, and um, uh, what's the term I'm thinking of? Uh, but but y'all, know, y'all know what I'm talking about, like, for people who always like to give back to like, their communities or whatever. Kind of like screw what Scrooge did in a way? Something like that. But okay. after a while, it's like, all right, now it's Del Rio being real or is this all just like a publicity thing? And it's like, oh, wow. that, yeah. way, that way you can work them back into going in the heel. Yeah. Hey, I have a question since I missed Raw well last night. Did Vicky mm-hmm. go off on AJ for some reason? No, no. Or, Nah, Vicky oh, wasn't even was on not... the show. Yeah, Vicky oh, wasn't even there. Damn it, the one show I missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Casey and Dolph, let me play for you, Heather, real quick. Can I look now? No. Oh, no. Now? No. Oh, come on, can I look now? Okay. Okay, now. Oh, no way! It's... This is the best Christmas ever! <laughs> what? Where'd you find this? Oh, I don't know. It was, I just saw it hanging there. And I was the last one left, and, and John Cena was going for it. But I made sure I got it. By pushing him off a ladder and breaking his heart. How can I ever repay you? Oh, God. <laughs> Really? I have one more present for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called Mono. My girl. <laughs> she she's showing off her his shirt. By the way. Mm, okay. It was the night before Christmas, and all of my life, not one of my exes could make me their wife. The contract was hung above the ladder with care, as I dreamt of hitting John Cena with a steel chair. <laughs> 
The children were anxious on the edge of their seats. With visions, their hero, John Cena, couldn't be beat. When out in the ring, there arose such a clatter. It was Vicky Guerrero, who had grown even fatter. Good one. Wow. Group Yeah. Group oh. Yeah. Group Daniel Bryan. Yes. But mostly, John Cena. His BS. His lying. <laughs> <laughs> when what to my wandering eyes should appear, my golden boy show off, shaking his rear. <laughs> his abs how they glistened, his hair full of bleach. A money in the bank contract within his reach. The future world champion, WWE's best butt wiggler. The man who sucks my stocking. And apparently other things too. Everybody stuffed that fucking. That's funny. Man, let's break it down with AJ real quick. I mean, seriously, guys. Uh, during the pre-show, we were talking about AJ. Uh, do you guys really believe? Could she be the new curse of the WWE? Because, like, is she like no. the new Madden? No. I believe so. I believe so. I believe it or not. I don't think so. I don't yes. think so. I mean, let's, yes. let's, let's, go, let's yes. go down the list. Yes. Yes. Yes! No! 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 <laughs> let's go down the list. I mean, seriously, let's go. With, she started off with Daniel Bryan. Ended up losing the title, but in a reality wise, he ended up getting a, a fucked up back. He, yeah. He's been having back battles and stuff like that. Number two. Uh, then she, she should, he should have stayed off his back. <laughs> number two, then he has <laughs> She had came for a little while. He, he ended up punching the wall. He almost shattered his hand. Well, then, of course, then, of course, she went off to see him punk. Well, we all know where that happened. Mm. And then you got this John Cena, who almost literally fucked up his leg, trying to help out the homie. What the fuck? Mm. That's because that dude botched his own fucking shit going out of the ring. They ain't got yeah, nothing to do with AJ. He can't walk. <laughs> Cena oh. can't walk. Sucks for him. But you know who the real per you know who's who's the real person who's been hurting behind all this? Hey, good old hey. No <laughs> Tim Beretta, poor guy. <laughs> hey, poor guy man. doesn't get a chance on T V. His girlfriend goes on T V but yeah, she gets to make out with the whole damn locker room. Are you serious? This this Dude, guy's gotta be having AJ. his head. Hey, it's AJ, man. If you paid me fucking as much money to do what she's doing, you damn right I'd be doing it. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Yes. Heather. I should have gotten a round of applause for that, Mark. What? I know, right? Yeah, uh, do you not remember uh, AJ is now becoming like the... Hold on, uh, Elle, what nationality is... Because I know AJ is Spanish, but is she Puerto Rican or... Uh, yeah, she's Puerto Rican. Okay. Yeah. That's why she's Are caught. you trying to... Okay, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Heather, are, do you want do you want AJ to become like the Puerto Rican Sable, really? Because that's pretty much what she's hey. on the head right now. Yeah. <laughs> I hey, like so, AJ. I don't. I don't know, oh, man. Honestly, well, I don't know. I like well, AJ. Well, actually, but... I didn't know until until oh, Elle brought it up just now. It, it, he kind of he kind of like segued me into it because it's like okay. Trent Beretta, AJ, a.k.a. Beretta, Mark Mero, AJ, Sable. What happened? The woman got popular because she was uh, floating in sex appeal while the dudes, uh, yeah, they, they were somewhere off in the background right now. Man, he was, he was Johnny B. Bad, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, man, that's no yeah. wonder why he didn't get a push. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hold on. He was doing better as Johnny B. Bad than he was um, Mar- uh, Wild I, Man Mero. I could not. I, I, you know what? I, could care, I could care less how many guys she kisses. I mean, I'll she's entertaining, so Maurice, whatever. Maurice, you nailed, it. you nailed it right on the dot. I, I'm not going to lie to you about that one. You nailed it right on the dot. Like, straight up. You, you nailed that funny. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like, I'm the whole sorry, but I, w- I'd rather, I would rather look at AJ than Vicky, okay? <laughs> well, that's true. Anybody would. Sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and for a while, actually, you know, I was almost getting ready to say um, DDP and Kimberly, but then again, DDP actually went on to have a somewhat successful career. Yeah. And, yeah, but other than that, yeah, you kind of get the point where it's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, if you have somebody in a real-life uh, couple situation, it's like, oh, yeah, the woman went on to become a success, and then the, yeah, and the, the dude was off in the background somewhere. Yeah, dude gets jealous, yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, I, go ahead, sorry. Oh, so I was just going to say that dude's probably thinking, bitch, you're still in my spotlight. Right. <laughs> yeah, now there's audience here. Now, now Heather just came up with the comment of the night right there, and this whole conversation right there. Give it up for you all. There it is. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I swear to God, if one person says you're welcome, I'm hanging up. Let me ask you this. What's your favorite holiday? Is it, is it Halloween or Christmas? Who? Me? Everybody. Yeah. Halloween. <clears throat> I got to say Halloween because Christmas just ain't the same anymore. Oh, well, let's go ahead. Go ahead, Marie. Uh, y'all Grinches. Yeah, everybody knows it's Christmas. Let's ask Daniel Bryan and Kane. Oh, shit. <laughs> Christmas is by far the best holiday of the year. Halloween <laughs> is the best holiday of the year. <laughs> no, Christmas. Yes, Halloween. No, Christmas. Yes, <laughs> Halloween. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, shit. No, yes. Ho, ho, ho. 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 No, yes. Oh, 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 oh. No, yes. Oh, oh, oh. No, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. That's my I enjoy oh. watch. I always enjoy watching them, too, man. The, Team Hell funny. No is the shit. And by the way, I got to admit, like, I had to admit, that was beautiful when, um, yeah, when they, when uh, Kane gave a slammy and then D-Bar tried to give him a puppy, and I was like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that was yeah, kind of I didn't too. Hear like, that. Well, thanks. I'm I'm hungry. <laughs> what? No, he didn't. Yes, he really? did. Kane was Kane was about to yo Kane was about to go like the big boss man on Pepper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <wow. laughs> That's so thanks, I am kind of hungry. <laughs> oh oh yeah. man. Apparently, Kane is that part is Chinese. <laughs> 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 so, so what's the deal with Kofi Kingston and Miz teaming up now? Are we looking at a new tag team? I hope not. Again? I like the Miz. Wow. So, Miz and Kofi were admit, good, though. I don't want to see them as tag teams. Weren't they a tag team not, at one point? Not a, fre- no. not a frequent Not a frequent tag team, Like, though. they were just yeah. once in a while, weren't they? Hey, they got the job done, so. It was a good well, match, though. Anyway. I admit, that, 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 that was a sick combo for going from Trouble to Paradise to Skull Crusher Skull finale. Skull Crusher, yeah. That was I pretty good. I liked there. it. So is the Miz, looks like. Well, Miz able to fight out of that. Oh, Kofi Kingston! Wow! So crushing finale, is this it? Yes! Kofi Kingston's out of the eye of Wayne Barrett. This is Kofi Kingston. And the Miz! And the Miz finished him off! Christmas truly brings everyone together. Wade, you were across the ring versus Kofi Kingston once again. Once again, it resulted in a loss. Just want to get your thoughts. Once again, I bet you couldn't wait to jump on me with that question because every <laughs> single time things go against me, you're in my face with that mic. Well, I'm sick of it. 
I've got to be honest with you, time and time again, if Kofi Kingston is beating me, it's in tag team matches. I'm a bare knuckle fighter. I'm a bare knuckle fighting champion. I'm the best in Europe. Do you think I was tag team fighting when I was bare knuckle fighting in Europe? <laughs> no. Here's the answer. You give me Kofi Kingston one on one in the ring. Put that Intercontinental title on the line. I promise you, I will beat him. 99 times out of 100, I'll beat him. Next time, he's mine. Now get out of here. Wow. Wait, Barry. You know what? Are we looking at the next Intercontinental Champion? I believe so. It's about time. Yeah, it is. It is about, about that time. It's about time. This oh, dude is. Him and Cesaro, oh, like, seriously, they, they've been taking over the damn game. Yeah. I don't like Cesaro. I cannot stand that stupid Jason Statham looking wannabe. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like him. But Wade Barrett is kind of growing on me a little bit. Right. Just yeah, a Wade. little bit. But Cesaro, he needs his men. Fuck Cesaro. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Hey, though. Yo, you can say what you want about him, but, yo, Cesaro's with the, Cesaro's with the truth, dude, especially when he had that uppercut. <laughs> yeah, like, he <laughs> would have really uppercut him. Yeah, hold on. I do got to know. We got to get that bus driver clip in here one of these weeks. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's get that. Mm-hmm. Let's get uh, Cesaro's uppercut. Let's get Reef from Street Fighter. We've got, we have to have a best uppercut competition. True. Yeah. Wait, Barrett will beat Cesaro. I'm Barrett calling it now. Well, I don't know, because, like, Barrett doesn't do that shit in midair like Cesaro does. Plus, he doesn't do it to the back of the head. I'm not saying Cesaro can't, don't have a few good moves and a nice little uppercut. i just saying I don't like the man, period. <laughs> so, He's doing his job. Yeah, well, he... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but then again, it's like, yo, I would tell you the truth now. And I actually went on record this. Yo, WWE actually was smart. I'm telling you, by, by mid 2014, that man should be in a world title picture. No. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know about old, that. I'm not even no. sure. He no. Have no. To wait you don't think it's a pro show? By mid 2014, that man needs to be shit back off to Russia. Or whatever the hell he came from. Russia. How sad you guys scared Maurice off. That's funny. How sad you guys scared Maurice off. No. On behalf of Maurice, I'll be oh. accepting his award tonight. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Did he leave? Did he give me that award? Did I piss somebody off? Did he leave? He oh. left. Okay, he's oh, hell no. My bad. Sorry, dude. Maurice, are you back? Yeah, yeah I'm back. Okay, just checking. Oh, we, I was like, what the hell happened? Yeah, because I was like, excuse me, is he like yep. pulling a tunnel. hearing off or some shit? No. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I don't. Uh, yeah, I got to watch it. <laughs> oh, uh, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. If, 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 I, if my eyes could correct me real quick. Is that Tishon Jones? He just walked in? Really? All late? Really? 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 I'm, I'm actually on a mission right now. <laughs> hey, he was on getting some Christmas pie. Man on a mission. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Man, y'all making me want to go get up and freaking get some pie. I'm about to get me some pie too. I have some apple pie. Oh wait a minute. Hold on, I don't want to get some pie. Wait a minute. I'm gonna get me some pie too. Hold on, hold on, El, hold on, El. We need a new clip now. Hold on, El. Do you got do you got the rocks? Do you got the rock in um Slick Rick Pie from WWF Volume Five? The rock loves pie. The closest one I got is Eddie Murray right now. Man, why we gotta go like wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love, I love Beastie Boys. Go! I love that song. Oh, you crazy. Really? Man. Hey, 
Hey, we all, well, hey, we all like girls in this group. Well, it, Am I the I, I, only chick on this conference call right now? Yes, you are, baby. Yeah, you usually are. Okay. <laughs> all right. Give it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> Who she represent? I'm, I'm gonna have to go to Oklahoma oh, and get some pie. Well, I'm, I'm just I'm just popping my head out. Who the hell is represent? Go. <laughs> you know what, Elle? No. You can kiss my ass, dude. Okay. That was not oh, well. funny, man. All right. All right. I, no, I would, but, you know, Michael Brown hit my boy and everything. I, funny. I don't want to start <laughs> fighting with Michael Brown, though. Most of respect, though. Mm. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> oh, Michael, 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 put the chair down, please. <laughs> oh, my God. I, th- I thought you said nuts. Michael Brown, not Michael Buffer. <laughs> hey, awesome. hey, in all seriousness, you know, you Michael, Michael, dude, I'm into girls. I'm sorry. Aww. Oh. I'm just oh. kidding. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm I just can kidding. watch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Go! Oh, I'm to be for her. Wow. Oh, that's okay. I can watch. Oh, I mean, that's <laughs> oh, we know how it goes now. Ding ding. Has it shining down itself so quickly aroused this car's cold up uh-uh. in an old farmhouse? What? <laughs> 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 Hold on, I was trying to sing pie right there. We need slick Rick. <laughs> Wow. wow. That was awesome. Your discretion is advised. Yeah, it's rated freaking, I don't know what the rating is now. <laughs> no, we went straight to X. Rated MX. Dude, I did rated X last night on that fucking conference call. That was I'm awesome. not doing that again. Wait a minute. <laughs> She oh, no. told me about the horse, too. I thought that was, that was crazy. I was Shut like, up, Damn. Michael. <laughs> Oh, wow. Shut up, dude. I, I will shut up. I will be quiet. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Say, oh, what is God. This? Heather, that's right. Hey, oh, Heather okay. having, pie, having pie in the covers devout her to us is still was. That's all she said. Bo reading the papers till finally a plate of the next door neighbors. Go the damn fast because it really did. I mean, it tastes so good. Heather's talking Chinese. Chick on 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 Hell, yeah, I'll tell you, you awesome. gotta get that clip. WWF Volume 5. That was a good shit, dude. Hell yeah. Manipause. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like I said, I, I would like to take the Rocket Slicker Rick um, WWF Volume 5. Pie, just saying. <laughs> the pie. Man, y'all really want got me fucking wanting to go eat some fucking. I know. I'm gonna go to Oklahoma cake. and get me some pie too. All right, Michael. Oklahoma, you're going to. Really? 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 Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. That's what it sounds like. You did I'm not nothing. I'm not respect you or nothing. No, that's cool. Mucho respecto. Wow. <laughs> you know what, Elle? You didn't think of it first, so that's why you're mad. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, put your pants back up. Put your pants back up. There you go. Yeah, there it is. What? You know, we do need a sound bite that says that. Put your pants back up. Put your you pants back up. You can make your own sound bite. That's funny. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, Al, can we have the you get nothing clip in a moment? Yes, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> fellas, if y'all want to hit the way, have a good weekend. It's black and white, clear as crystal. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> and that is, and that is what I here if, Heaven, if y'all try showing up at Heaven's place trying to get some. Oh. I just hey uh, speaking uh, speaking of sound bites, like uh, like the song, like if the joke is like really really bad instead of that boo, then you did, can you get the boo you stink sound bite from SpongeBob? I, like, oh, I just noticed that the subject was changed. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh my God! But seriously, guys, hey, we. Before we go, is there anything last things you guys want to mention and talk about? Before we go, we got a few minutes left. Before we. Um, the main event was pretty damn funny on Raw. Yes, it was. I that wouldn't know. I had to YouTube it. That I am Man. going to. I just want to let y'all know that I will be going to Houston for the 20th anniversary of Raw. Woo-hoo. Sweet. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. Make a sign. Oh, it's going to well, be awesome. When it comes to the I, main I'm going to stalk Seth Rollins. That's all I got to say. I bet you will. Oh, you know, it, you know it. And you know it. Ooh. Ooh. And Zack Ryder, apparently. It's all there, black and white, <laughs> clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Oh, we'll get something. Good day, sir. What, was that movie? what movie was that from, anyway? Let me ask. Willy Wonka oh, and the Choc- Chocolate good. Factory? Yeah. I think so. Oh, well, that was okay. Gene Wilder. Okay. I actually did not know that. Yeah, that was Gene Wilder saying that. He was the original Willy Wonka. Not no Johnny Depp, okay? That's right, not Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Gene Depp. Wilder. I love me some Johnny Depp. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh wow. Bet you do. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow! Oh, you damn right. That was one hot ass part. Leave me alone. You know and he drinks rum. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the rum always gone? Because uh, that sound bite. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool, little sound bite. That'd be awesome sound. Like, Why is the rum Why, always or, gone? Why is the tequila always gone? <laughs> why is the rum always gone? Yeah, why is the rum always gone? I don't know, because y'all drink it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> maybe, maybe, if you, maybe if you had the I am at the point, had, like... Maybe if you had the, uh, the Beef last night, it'd still be there. <laughs> Dude, I don't... I ain't, I ain't drinking nothing more tonight. Like, everything is, like, going woohoo, And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and by the way, I just would like to um, tell WWE something real quick. Please do not have Big Show sing anymore for, for the rest of his career because, um, <laughs> yeah, um, that because was that damn singing he was doing during the, during that Lumberjack Frost match, yeah, yeah. That was, he sang. That's even more devastating than his yeah, knockout. He sang while he had Sheamus in a hold. He was singing to Seamus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah well, Chris was caroling it more. Al, do you have that clip by any chance, buddy? No, I don't. Damn it. I'm going to have to YouTube it. Oh, well. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait I was looking for it. No, I was looking for it. Are you kidding me? Or either that, or don't have, or don't have them singing there during that whole, that whole song they did at the opening of the show. That is... Say what? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. No. No, that whole song they did at the open. Mm-hmm. X Men. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that one either. No, well, did the entire Lord, roster no. come out and sing or something? Oh man, that was that was torture. Yeah. Yeah, that, sure that was, was that was worse than Vince singing "Stand Back." Oh wow! Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> I love that song. It's funny. 
I think the funniest he, part about the main event was when Del Rio opened up a present and pulled out a teddy bear. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then threw it at Cena. Yeah, but the fire hydrant thingy was cool. Or the fire, what the fuck is that thing? Fire extinguisher, yeah. Yeah, fire extinguisher. That, that was, was funny. pretty funny. He's like, the no, bowling ball. No, 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 no. Oh, I need yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the please don't remind me of that bowling ball one. I was like, oh man, I was oh. like, he's not gonna throw it all the way up there, is he? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. I guess that's. I guess the bowling ball. Bowling for the cojones. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, cojones. You know what that bowling ball segment was? Oh. That was testicular homicide at its blatant worst. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, so Jason Jones decided to call back again? Really? Oh, you didn't know? shit Well, one, I'm actually on a mission, you know, helping out Santa Claus finish up. Christmas and all that mess. You know how many badass kids are out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> but they Maybe all get multiplied okay. again. Dude, I had to have been naughty. I didn't get a single damn present. <laughs> oh my! How naughty did you get? She was naughty. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Define naughty. <laughs> what naughty? Wait, what naughty? Wait, what naughty? Wait, what naughty? <laughs> Cutting up now. <laughs> hold on, you know, I just thought of something else we could like do for heaven news. Like, um, hold on, y'all remember that State Farm commercial when um B J Rachi's nails starting to do the discount double check? Yeah, yeah, it's like we should like play oh, that man. song in here too. Like yeah, like, State Farm commercials. Yeah, like State Farm is there. I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I meant, no, I meant the ones where um Aaron Rodgers be doing, but it's like. When the one BJ Raji and he doing his version of the discount double check dance. Oh yeah, that's oh, give me awesome. what you want, what you want, what you want. <laughs> that was pretty funny. No, no let me let me ask this. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ask and, this question. And now that State Farm song is stuck in my fucking head. <laughs> Shut up. So, so what you, you got? Okay. So what you got? Okay. What? What the bloody hell was okay. that? No, no, but I have a quick que- I have a quick question for everybody. I don't know if it was uh, gone over, but Alberto Del Rio, are they going to make him a heel face? What what's up with that man? Dang, I have no idea. Or are they going to keep or are they going to keep putting him back and forth like they did with uh, Alicia Fox? I don't know. Uh, by the way, yeah. shout out, by the way, shout out to Alicia Fox. Oh my gosh, she's getting his stick in all the right places. God oh, damn. I know. Wait, isn't that crazy? Damn, damn you, damn you, Wade Barrett. Damn you, Wade Barrett. Exactly, damn you, Wade Barrett. Damn you, Wade Barrett. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, uh, in, in, in other words, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I got to admit, though, that, that 8D was, that 8D was tagged as awesome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wade Barrett, you lucky son of a bitch. Man, I tell you, man. He, oh, wait, wait. wait oh. 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 I didn't know Wade was with her. Okay, Wade, okay, yeah. what, okay, what can we really say about Alicia that we didn't say about Layla last week? It's kind of the same. Now, see, now, 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 see I heard Wade, I heard Wade Barrett was, he, she was with Wade Barrett at one point, and then I threw out, I think in the she's still with Wade Barrett. But, huh. uh, uh, Cody Rhodes, I thought she was with Cody Rhodes, but, uh, I think it's really Wade That's Barrett. That's nasty. I don't know. That might catch me No, 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 no. Wade Barrett is married and has a baby, so. He does? He's, yeah, he's got a baby. His baby huh. is horrible. Oh, Wade yeah. Barrett is, uh, I think we, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, Wade Barrett is banging Alicia Fox. Mm, no. Maybe he's a polygamist. Maybe, oh, you know. <laughs> Because it's, 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 uh, okay, Alicia Fox is banging Barrett, and then Alicia Fox's little sister is banging, believe it or not, this is kind of trippy, Jack Swagger, out of all oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, Whoa. that's right. Whoa. Wasn't she on Tough Enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wow. 
the baby hey, sister going after that y'all all of American, American patriot missile. Yeah, but the thank, thank you for letting me call in tonight. I want to get off here now. Hi, babe. Talk to you later. Yeah. The world is spinning, so that's my cue to uh, get off here. Uh-oh. Did she say get off? Uh-oh. 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 We're going to have that. life puke-age. No. Shut up, Bye. man. Right. I don't puke. No. I'm hard. No. I can handle no. my alcohol. Puke. Fight me. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Covered in freaking coffee. Okay. You know, uh, since I came in a little bit late and I I, I missed all the buffoonery. <laughs> I, I will say okay. for for the wrestler spotlight for 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 today. I want to take it a little bit old school for myself. I like to shine a little spotlight on psychosis. Oh, okay. damn. Yes, psychosis. That's, that's some throwback right there. I like that. Yeah, like psychosis. Yeah. One, of, one of the best luchador cruiserweights, in my opinion. Yeah, I got to agree with you. Um, L, wait, wait. L, do you think that was a little bit biased because he's Mexican? No, that's like you, that's like you saying our truth is on the next WWE champion. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let 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 stop. Our truth. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, I mean, I really wish you could WWE champion. Not on duty. Oh. Not gonna happen. <laughs> No, Wait, that's more, you know what? That's more like he's got than, acrophobia. Wait a minute. Uh, more, I'm sorry. Wait, him being WWE ball, champion is more. Is, can I borrow a phrase from Ron Simmons real quick? Yeah. Damn. 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 <laughs> you gotta you know, like, like, get a long pause though. You gotta I, be like, actually, no, that, that's that's the point. There's a better chance of Ron Simmons never saying damn again than our troop getting that WWE title. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. wow. But, 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 yeah. Dang. But, uh, but, but what's your favorite psychosis moment or our favorite match? Oh, um, wow. I got to say, wow. I got to say straight up ECW with him and Rey Mysterio. The first yeah. time they had a match in ECW, that was my favorite match damn, with psychosis. Words because, damn, you just picked it out right, right from the outside face. <laughs> I think that was everybody's answer. Oh, I, would probably, I would probably have to say Psychosis, ECW, Heat Wave 2000, the first time ECW showed up in L.A., and not because they were here, but the actual match, it was Psychosis versus Tajiri versus Kid Cash. Oh. It was triple, oh. It was triple threat. Right. Okay. We may, have to find, we may have to find that on YouTube because that's uh, yeah, actually sounds interesting. I want, I want to see that match, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 the, the, my favorite match, even though he didn't win, but he put on a hell of a performance, it was him and it was Psychosis and Parka go up against Serial and who? I believe we're having technical difficulties with Sean. Uh oh. Hello? Okay, you're yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, uh, my favorite match was, uh, Psych- even though he didn't win, was, uh, it was. Psychosis and La Parca versus Rey Mysterio and Juventud Guerrero in a tag team match. And, I mean, that hmm. match was awesome. Huh. Yeah, I remember. I think I remember. That was WCW, yeah. yeah exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. That was that was some good time in WCW. Yeah, the one thing is that any sense of WCW from uh, Psychosis, I love them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that they have to I tell you, even who, even hell, even even him versus Hoover too was great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh hell the yeah. Juice. Yeah. I just feel that his run in WWE was just. I, I, don't get me wrong. I, I felt it was like bullshit. You know. Yeah. I think, they could, I think they could have done a little bit more. I think they could have done a little bit more. I think they should have brought him back. Uh, they could have done something with him. With him and yeah. Super Crazy. The Mexicals, is that what they, is, is that little group they had, the yeah, Mexicals? Uh, yeah, the WWE, yeah. I didn't like, but, I, he didn't have his mask, I hated it. Right. And when they were rolling around in the nasty John Deere's. 
Yeah, but after, a week, after a while, though, you got to move away from the mask and, like, get to get to see psychosis, the person, you know, the, yeah. the actual wrestler. wrestler. I, I agree with that, but it's just, hold on. I knew him as the guy with the mask, you know. True. Uh, hold on. I mean, that can you know, by the way, curse at times, though, if you're bound admit, by the like, mask and everything. The one, the one that Deers was that was that was just coonery on. An, oh my! And and that's what Ooh. K by the way. I'm gonna read yeah. Max. Thank you. And that's yeah. with a K by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a the, only downfall, is that. the only downfall about psychosis is the fact that when one of his last matches in Mexico, it was believe it or not, this is the first first and only time I've ever saw this. Two rings, one ring is inside the arena, the other ring is outside of the arena. In order to, and, and then you got to go outside, in the outside arena, you got to go in the, in the ring, climb a cage, look for a fucking key, climb back out of the cage, go back into the arena, and start your match. What the fuck? Yeah. Trust me, I called him a fucking tired as fuck in the first 10 minutes, climbing the fucking stairs and climbing back down. <laughs> Well, it sounds sounds like a luchador style double dare. <laughs> you know, like I'll show. find it. I'll find it for you guys. I'll post that shit. It's funny, but yeah, poor dude. That's the way he lost his his name. By the way, I I, th- I believe that was the whole the whole match. Uh, loser loses his his uh, his gimmick basically. Hmm. Wow. wow. Oh, by the way, speaking of gimmicks, uh, a real quick uh, note. Uh, it's a fucked up thing for Sin Cara. In case he wants to decide to go back to Mexico, he, he he's not going to be able to because, unfortunately, Mexico got pissed off and they gave away his gimmick to somebody else. Oh, I oh, think I heard about that. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah that, that, that's talk kind of, of fucking... Talk about a slap uh, in the face. Yeah. Yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah, so now Mexico is it? now known as... Well, Mexico is now back... But, but, can't they, but can't they just spin it like um, how WWE did it? Like it's two Sin Caras? You know what? They will. Uh, if, if, let's, let's just say if Sin Cara did leave, they'll, they'll probably do it because they did it with a Parker. And that's a long ass story. That's another show. But yeah. 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 But, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but, um, go back, here, back to psychosis, though. Dude, this guy was really like, man, out here, I got to meet him. I got to. He's a cool ass dude. Yep. I was yeah, about to say, yeah. for the few matches, they gave him that cruiserweight title way too late, to. though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I didn't get to see Psychosis that much. For the few matches that I did see him, whether it was whether it was him and Ray's match in ECW, whether it was the first ever X Division title match in a TNA, whether it was some of the other matches I've seen him do. I mean, I'll tell you what, he was hell impressive. I'll give him that. Very, very impressive in that ring. Uh, not many, not many could really, and I know we say this about a lot of people, but when you see, when I saw Psychosis in that ring, I mean, the, I mean, the dude could, I mean, he was, a, he was quite the worker, he was quite the, uh, quite the, ac, quite the acrobatic guy, I'll tell you that much. I mean, he could go on the mat, he could fly, he could do a lot of things. You know, that's what, you know, Bruce, uh, Dylan, you brought up something really cool about that, because it's true what you say about him. Besides that, and here's another thing, too. Uh, true fact, Psychosis is, is still the record holder for the tallest cruiserweight. Oh, ah, yeah. hmm. Did not know that. He still holds the record for that one, by the huh. way. You know, even before you told me that, I kind of felt like he always did seem to stand out a little bit size-wise. But right. I, I actually did not know that. Yeah, how tall is Psychosis for the record? He's tall, dude. Uh, six one. Wow. Well, um, I hate to I hate to be the, I, I hate I hate to be a bear bad news, but unfortunately, government calls, and uh, I want to say Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you. You know. Yeah, I, I know. I yeah, I I, I I know. I know. But duty calls, Santa, I got to kick his ass, and what can I say? Oh, yeah, I want to give you a shout-out to to the L.A. Lakers for winning winning their uh, second game today. Thank you, L.A. You know, that was a, that was a good uh, yeah, Christmas you know, present. Yeah. 
Bad defense aside. They suck. Bad defense aside, congrats. Yay, Lakers. Yay, Lakers. Yay. <laughs> hey, don't be hating on L.A. with L on this show, damn it. Bad deep, hey, bad defense aside. I'm not, I'll give him the credit, bad defense aside. Hey, 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 don't get me wrong. I'll give credit when credit's due for Kobe Bryant. I'm not a big fan of his, but, eh, you know, yay, Kobe. Whether you like him or not, I say respect him, mainly because of the – and it's not even – he doesn't even have bad teammates. They just have a bad team. I still are, but that's another – yeah, that music is do whatever he wants. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? You just can't. You know what, I was actually, hey. L, thank you. You know what, L, hey, L, I was actually waiting for that like the whole time that I called in. I was waiting for you to do that. <laughs> wow. Look, love you guys. Take care. Merry night Christmas. Night. Happy <laughs> New Year. <laughs> T-Sun Jones is in the building. Oh, man, you guys are fucking awesome. Hey, we'll see you guys probably after the Uncensored Show, because most likely we'll be drunk. Um, I don't think we're going to do a New Year's Day uh, show, so most likely we'll see you guys next, probably Saturday night, maybe Sunday. Who knows? We'll probably just squeeze it in there. We'll probably even do our top ten, our top favorite moments of all time. So get ready for that. Maurice, are you still going to live tomorrow night? Uh, you know, I, I've met, I mean, you know no. what? Uh, since it's a holiday no. season, I said I might even go early tomorrow. <laughs> all right, all right. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, follow us on Twitter at WCC Live. Don't forget to also add us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash group slash Wrestling Commentary Central. For more information, just keep on following us on our Twitter feed. We'll always be here. Our lines are always open, 760-569-7676, access code 200-446-POUND. We'll see you guys tomorrow night with Maurice. Don't forget, TNA Recipe might go live. Who knows? We'll, we'll see about that. Saturday, breakdown, of course, with Maurice and Mr. Team Bring It. And, of course, every Monday night, right after Raw, 30 minutes right after Raw, check out the Uncensored Show right here on the WCC Network. You know, you know what, Al? You know what, Al? I think I might just um, return the um, recipe next week for the first Thursday. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There it is. There it is. Later. One, three, one, three. Ah, oh, shit. You guys didn't know that, did you? Star started Thursday. All right, well, yeah, have a good Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to return it after the Stingers return. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there it is. You heard it here first. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Spawn2011, number three. For more information, like I said, keep us keep following our Twitter feed or at, on Twitter at WCC Live. For Mr. Jones, Maurice, uh, Michael Brown, Paul Martin, Duet Brandon, Julian, Roosevelt, Robinson, and the rest, and of course our Queen Diva herself, Mrs. Heather Powell. I almost called her Miss Heather Brown. Watch out. Hell. Uh, well, hey. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 <laughs> if y'all if y'all listen out there, I know y'all got a Facebook page, which I know everybody do. Join the group. Exactly. There you go. Hell yeah. Join the group, despite the fact that uh, some of these guys will probably be probably be as drunk as the writers were yesterday for putting the great Kali in that stupid elf outfit. But nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, Brandon, you deserve this. Do it. Do it, yeah. <laughs> And he left the building, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what we'll wonder? The mystery is, will El, will El ever play the full theme of Bret Hart theme music for Brandon Dooling? Oh, see, but see, Rose, that's where you oh, fought, though, because I'm going to tell the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I, think, I believe he's back. Brandon ain't back. Brandon? Hello? Brandon. I know you're are, you, are you about to, are, you're about to do that? I'm about to get off. No, because no, actually, we, we almost off the air anyway. Exactly. Because I already knew what else was about to do. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he left again. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> 
All right. Hey, everybody, check us out. Like I said, keep us always follow us on Twitter at WGC Life. I know I've been repeating it over it three or four times already, but seriously, check us out on Twitter. We're always there, open every fucking day. Uh, Maurice, uh, let everybody know where you're on Twitter, Maurice. Yo, Reese rocks the mic. All right, there it is. Uh, right. Michael Brown, you got Twitter? Um, y'all have a great Merry Christmas. Good night. Good show. Have a good one. Oh, so, oh, so what, Michael Brown, you don't want to promote your your uh, your Twitter page at all? Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, Master Hooks. Yeah, that's my. All Twitter right, page. Paul Martin, put your pants back up. Are you okay with that? <laughs> You don't know that Twitter page? I'm going to show you everybody having a good, uh, good right. rest of your Merry Christmas with whatever <coughs> half hour time you still got by my time and by everybody's time in a different time zone. But stay safe and have a happy holidays and a new year. All right. Thank you, Paul. Uh-huh. We will see you guys next Tuesday, hopefully. But then again, who knows? We might have to you on Sunday, but who knows? Uh, we're still working on that. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else is there to say? Uh, yeah, by the way, happy holidays from everybody from WCC, from our family to yours. Uh, be safe. Be safe, keep warm, and don't stay a doing. <laughs> But then again, yeah, don't don't do you know what? Don't be a, you know what? Don't be a don't be an L. How about that? Ooh. Why? Because we like girls. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jacob, you're late. Huh? Okay, I'll explain what happened. I'm in a different phone now. No, 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 seriously, seriously, I'm in a different time zone, and um, I didn't even know nothing was going on until I seen Heather come through the group, like, well, that was a fun conference, I'm like, what the fuck, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, it's 11 o'clock here, <laughs> you know what, Jacob, go ahead, Shout outs to your your uh, your peoples out there. Let everybody know Merry hey, Christmas and a Happy love. New Year and all that good stuff. Much love to all the later Gators. <laughs> <laughs> Happy I can't New believe Year. We're, we're still saying that. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Hey, it's a lot of up and coming later Gators, bro. Don't hate. Cause we might we might flock on you, bro. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody stick around for WCC After Dark. I know it's going to get a little kinky. If you guys want to know what it's all about, the number to call is 760-569-7676. Exit code 20446 pounds, and we'll see you guys soon. Who knows? Brandon Dillon might keep his pants back up. Who knows? But we'll see you guys soon. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I, I thought I thought having your pants down was your job, Al. You seem to have the market cornered on that. Hey, I can't help it. I wasn't no, talking to you. I was talking to Al. That was Randy Moss from Minnesota. Hey, yo, Kato. You're going to have to turn the face up for this one, baby. <laughs> The following has been brought to you by a Chris Dilworth production. WCC reminds you always wear latex. <laughs> <laughs>